This is the MC Reggie Fresh Morning Show. Station that pays. This is MC Reggie Fresh from the MC Reggie Fresh Morning Show. And folks, guess who's in the building? He was born in the Lone Star State, Dallas, Texas. He played drums as a kid. He was in concert band, marching band, and group bands. And he was the drummer for the old school band back in the day who made the platinum song, Fantastic Voyage, the legendary band called Lakeside. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome, let's welcome Mr. Fred Alexander. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the MC Reggie Fresh Morning Show. How you doing, Brother Fred? And good morning to you. What's good, good, good morning, man. How you doing? Hing, hey, man, I'm doing all right, brother. Doing all right. All yeah, I... We having a good time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All I know is, man, I was strolling through the Facebook, and you know, I seen a picture with some with a drummer, and it was you. I said, man, that's Fred. Fred Alexander, the legendary Fred from Lakeside. So I said, I got to get him on the radio show. So here you are. Yeah, man. Glad to be here. All right, then. So the first question I want to ask you, Brother Fred, uh, how long you been a drummer? Wow. I have forgot now. About 15 <laughs> years. Wow. Yeah, a long time. What made you want to become a drummer? Uh, it was, I guess it was just in my system. I played trumpet and now I play keyboards and drums, so it's just a part of my system. I guess it was the percussive aspect of the instrument. Man, get out of here. So you were, so was you in the marching band or anything like that? Oh, I was in all the bands. Marching band, concert band, I marched on the field, jazz band, uh, any kind of band you could think of, I was a part of it. Wow, because I was in the marching band as well as a drummer. Couldn't wait and to. I had my own little band, you know. That's what that's what that's what we did. It's what you did, huh? Get out of here, yeah. man. You was so what, what state was you in at this time? Where you from? I'm from Dallas, Texas. So okay. I was in Dallas at the time, going to school. Okay. And, and then went out to LA and uh, ended up LA was our base, and then and then um, some of us have moved. Back home, take care of family, moms and dads and stuff like that. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. So did you join, uh, were you in any college bands? Did you go to college? 
Well, I mean, I was in North Texas, but uh, that didn't last long because I was always on the road. Always on the road. <laughs> <laughs> so I was in the college of life. All right, all right. Now, let's talk about the big picture here. Let's talk about Lakeside. Yes, How did that band Lakeside. come about, man? How did that band come about? Well, it used to be Ohio Lakeside Express, and then when we got over to Solar Records, uh, Dick Griffey suggested that we just cut the Ohio Express off and just be Lakeside, and now we added original Lakeside so that people know that the original members are still alive and recording and performing and what you see out there on the road is the real original lakeside that's recorded produced and wrote all the songs that we have on all of our albums man so i know that one song that y'all had that went platinum one of my favorite was though is uh uh, uh, that that uh, something about that woman. That's one of my special ones that I like from on one of them albums you had. But Lakeside, yeah, that, it was a top ten record, right? But that one song, Fantastic Boys. I mean, everybody played that. How did that song come about, and whose idea was that? Well, we was basically off the road from the Super Fest, and and just was at rehearsal, and we made up a lot of songs at rehearsal together, and we kind of had. Uh, the song was cut up into two different grooves that we actually merged together. Right. And we started singing the hook, and then we came up with the rap. So we were just at rehearsal, you know, adding to the song. So everybody contributed. Okay, okay. That uh, that went platinum, didn't it? Yeah, oh yeah, it's been platinum a couple of times with Coolio, with us. Uh, it's been in a numerous amount of movies and commercials and... We just had the um, Airbnb commercial with the Coolio version, and then we had uh, the original version was uh, the song for all states uh, last year for all of the football games uh, and college ball. Man, let me ask you this, brother Fred. So, how do y'all get paid when people use that kind? When they use your background and stuff like that, and or, or do they, do people? Get with y'all and tell y'all they're going to do it or you just happen to hear it and what do y'all, how does that go? No, they get with us and make a deal for it through a licensing fee. And anybody can license our, my, our songs for a fee. Right. So they do the licensing fee and then they can use the record. Okay. I was just was wondering how that went, man. That's, that's yeah, it's right. pretty, it's, it's not that complicated. It's pretty simple. It's all about money. Okay. So, <laughs> All they, about money, you know, brother Fred. <laughs> and they pass some money over and then, you know, do your thing. Now, okay, now being in this band, man, you know everybody got their part, like you said. How do you stay focused, man? Because I know you got you as a celebrity and people want to talk to you and all the fans. How do you deal with all that, you know? You know, I know a lot of people want autographs and all that stuff. How do you deal with that? Well, I do, we do all of that. I mean, you know, we love our fans. Yeah, so right. Yeah. If it wasn't for the fans, it wouldn't be any, re exactly. any reason for the band. Uh, but you just stay focused because everybody's down for the same purpose. Plus, we like what we do. I mean, we enjoy it. You know, uh, we like making people happy, but we also enjoy what we're doing. So it's... It's just about being down for the same purpose. Yes, sir. Yes, and sir. And if everybody likes the same thing and and what we're trying to do in terms of, you know, the gift from God to try to make people happy, so you enjoy doing what you're doing. That's what I'm talking about, man. That, that That's all right. You know, uh, uh, too, man, you know, it, it takes a lot of... Uh, uh, Y'all don't get no sleep. Is it any time where you didn't get no sleep and you know you had to perform? <laughs> oh, well, sure. We just did it this weekend. We were in uh, Los Angeles for the L.A. County Fair Friday. Right. And then we caught a 6 o'clock flight, and we arrived in Huntsville, Alabama at 2.30 for a 5 o'clock show. Get out of here. And you know what, like so I said, we went again. straight to the venue. We didn't even go to the hotel. We went straight to the venue. Man. Did the concert and... Got to the hotel about nine o'clock and crashed and got up and caught a plane and came home. Man, I couldn't believe I missed that. Man, you was right up the street. You right up the street, five minutes away from well, me. Well, you forgot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Forgot, man. I forgot. But guess what? We all we gonna make it up. I ain't missing nothing else, man. I <laughs>
So that look, so check this out, brother Fred. So now, you know, you got like small towns. Like I'm from Lebanon, Kentucky, man. I, I would love to get you and another group or something like that to come to my hometown because, you know, I grew up on this music and I wish, uh, you know, it's possible. So what I want you to do is how can somebody book you, reach you? How, what's your social platform to, you know, get y'all to come down different places? Oh, well, you can catch me on Facebook and Instagram, and uh, you can call me direct if you want. You know, my number is yes. on my Facebook. Yes, so sir. We're really, really easily accessible. That's what I'm so, talking about. So uh, we, don't, we don't make it too hard for you so that you can get right to us. I know a lot of artists are hard to get in touch with, but, hey, you can call me direct. You I, know, I like to speak to everybody. That's what I'm talking about, man. And so... Now, you also working with other old school bands, I, I see. So, you know, I love all the old school, because I'm an old school DJ as well. So that's basically what I specialize in. So who else do y'all you, working with? You, like, you on tour or anything like that? Like when you uh, Us and Confunction, Dad's Band, Zap, uh, Midnight Star, uh, SOS, uh, Cameo, Mars Day. You know, those all acts that out. And so we, Midnight uh, Star, we do a lot of stuff. We got a thing coming up with uh, us and compunction and midnight star then us and sos are going to be in houston texas and uh we're all over the place we just got through doing two weeks ago and the old school uh cruise wow so we did a cruise that was real nice and uh we had a good time. Brother you know? Fred, that's, that's what's up. Then check this out, Brother Fred. So now, you know, like by being on this radio show with me, man, like I say, once we get this done, I'm going to share it. There's going to be a lot of people uh, looking at this interview. So, you know, I know I know you talk to some of these people, but some of them band members, man, I want to know if you can put a plug in for me. It don't have to be the whole band. It's one of the members out of each band. Try to get them on the radio show, too, to help promote just like I'm doing you. Well, I'll definitely let them know about your radio show. You know, I'm always trying to turn on my fellow bandmates and i'll make sure that I let them know about you reggie for sure that's what i'm talking about now like, i'm gonna ask you this man do uh you got any shout outs for anybody oh well we just want to shout out to all of our fans and and tell you guys how much we love you thank you for supporting us for over 40 years and uh, through the good grace of God, we hope we can keep performing for you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, again, Brother Fred, I, I appreciate you being on my radio talk show. Now I want you to tell everybody in Dallas, Texas, the Lone Star State, and all across the world, what's the baddest station in the land and the station oh, that well, pays? you know, yeah, make sure you listen to the MC Reggie Fresh Morning Show. And there y'all have it, folks. A top-notch drummer that played... For the legendary, the legendary band, Lakeside. That's Mr. Fred Alexander. He was right here on the MC Reggie Fresh Morning Show. This is the MC Reggie Fresh Morning Show. A station that pays.